How's it going everyone? Mitch here with another tutorial. This tutorial is going to be how impulse response loaders work, how these impulses can be put into a plugin and then output a brand new signal. All right, because these are getting increasingly popular, especially with guitars and with reverbs. So I just wanted to talk about this just a little bit today. So let's go. All right, so let's take it all back down to the basics. If we have a single impulse, which you can see right here in the top left, and this is going to be at x equals zero, and a example response to this impulse could be down here in the bottom right. All right, so this single response is what the file is going to be that you're going to be loading into the loader. All right, it's just going to be a single impulse, and this this uh, impulse could just at one point it could be a sample of a single point in an input signal and so as you can see you will see future here we'll see what happens alright so if you get an external signal an input as you can see in the top left what we can do is sample it out into many different impulses and what in what we get is just a line of multiple impulses and so what we can do is we can convolute this signal by adding all of these um, all of the responses to the impulses together and you get a brand new signal alright this is what convoluting means and um, what this means is it can be scaled most of the time it can be scaled um, so dynamics are preserved and uh, so that's very good especially um, if you're you know playing guitar or the reverb you want it to be very responsive in the amount of dynamics that you send it. Alright, so what it's basically going to do at its simplest form is add these um, imp these res impulse responses together to get a brand new signal. Alright, so your dry signal is going to be the input signal, for this case x of t. The wet signal is going to be the convoluted signal, or what happens when the signal goes through this impulse loader. All right, and that's going to be called the wet signal. Now, in reverbs, especially if you're in Logic and you're using this, uh, the Space Designer, which is a reverb impulse loader, it is, has the option to mix the dry signal versus wet signal. So you can definitely com combine and go back and forth in between these two different signals if you would like. And that's very, very nice. It's a very cool feature. Um, if that if the loader is specifically made for a guitar input there might not even be this option because you're basically going to want to be using the wet input at hundred percent the whole time so uh... just be careful um, just a little, some, some little trivia for you, you know what I'm saying All right. so some advantages and disadvantages to this on the advantages side it is a very very natural sounding way of doing this alright and then also since the impulse is just a very very small portion and what you do is just add these impulses in consecutive order. Uh, this actual file of the impulse is very, very small. And so you can trade these impulse files, and they don't have to be huge, enormous files, uh, which are very, very nice. And they're great with reverbs, as I've talked about, and great with speakers, and in particular, guitar speakers, cabinets, heads, all these things. All right? So those are the advantages. On the disadvantages side, it's very, very CPU intensive. Like I said, you are adding all of these responses together over a certain period of time. And if you are getting a signal, you have to add all these new responses to the signal and create this convoluted signal all in a matter of seconds. This can bog down the CPU, especially if you have multiple ones going at the same time. So if you are using in like a reverb impulse, I, I would suggest uh, putting that loader on a bus and on an effects bus and then you can just send whatever tracks you want to that bus and use the ex the same loader for all of your reverb. All right? And then uh, lastly, loaders might be static which means that there is no dynamics, they're not scalable. Some loaders allow this to be scalable, some don't. So be careful when you're going out and looking for uh, these loaders. Um, oh, I forgot the second point. You might actually need to go out and get an external plugin to load these impulse loaders in. If you're in Logic, the Space Designer is an impulse loader. And I haven't tried it with guitar impulses, and I haven't tried it running guitars running through it, but um, from what I hear, you can do that uh, with the Space Designer plugin, which is very, very nice. So, um, 
there you are everyone hope that uh, hope you understand what the whole main concept is to all these impulse files and what the whole deal is about all of that um, I try to keep it as simple as possible but still get across what you needed to know so if you have any questions hit me up in the comments or in a message comment rate subscribe like a freaking best and I will be seeing you all very soon peace out